What is going on everybody? My name is Salem Sunny. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Here I focus on two things, faith and entrepreneurship. My desire is to help individuals such as yourself be more motivated, discover your purpose and understand that you are God's very best. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Today, I had the honor to be part of a video chat call. And this was an incredible call. It's called of a network of young people throughout the world. So they were talking about plans and activities that they have for later during the year. I was super excited and I brought this mindset that I wanna share with you guys today. And here it is. Big doors open on small hinges. Big doors open on small hinges. What do I mean by that? We often think that we want the big break. We want that big aha moment. We want the big bright light shining moment when everything is just so great. But let me give you an analogy that's very practical. So think about a regular door, whether it is a massive door, whether it is any door that basically opens and closes. Well, I'm not talking about a sliding door. I'm not talking about a some kind of uh, a retrievable door. So something that opens and, and closes like you see on the screen right now. Something that's interesting about when I'm talking about the door is that you will see no matter how huge a door can be for you to have that pivotal swing moment, right? Whether it is a 45 degree angle, all those type of doors open due to the small hinges that are on the opposite side of where the handle is. So as I was part of the video chat, I looked and I saw that most of these young people came to know, came in connection because of small moment. Because in moments where maybe I had the chance to go and speak at one place and I met one young people and I saw that that person was hungry or in a network of other individuals that love God, that were on fire, that wanted to do a lot of great things for the life that really were seeking a life of purpose. I would love to have that person as part of my network. So I added that individual to our Skype calls, I added that individual to our chats. So as I started traveling or I started meeting these people on Facebook or on Instagram or on Snapchat, and the more we started chatting, coming together as a group, you know, praying for one another, speaking to one another, now we started thinking about, okay, let's do an activity. Let's do an activity. Let's meet up. Let's go to this place. Let's do all this. Now it almost is forming a movement, but it all started with a simple, hi, how are you doing? Or hello, how are you doing? Or yeah, I think we agree. Oh, I completely agree. We should stay in contact. What's your number? All right, you might be thinking Salem. Why are you sharing that with us? It's because I believe just as this thing has happened to me, it can happen to you as well. We're coming in contact with people more often than we can remember. We have these small opportunities to have lasting impact in someone's life or to genuinely connect with an individual. Sometimes that connection might not seem more profitable. It might not seem beneficial, but never neglect any small connection. No matter how big the door is, the hinges is usually small compared to the door. So that connection could be a hinge that will be the pivotal point to opening a giant door for your life, whether it might be for your work, when it might be for you to finally discover your purpose, what it might be for you for, to finally walk in your calling, uh, whoever the partner God has for you. So after understanding that, here was the next question that came to my head. I was like, okay, well, I understand, okay, these individuals can be very pivotal to me and what I'm trying to do, but how would I know? Like, how would I know that this individual is the person that's going to take my life to the next level? How do I know that this individual, this girl, that guy is going to be pivotal to the blessings, the connection that are coming to my life next? Here's the reality. You don't. You can't. Unless you have some kind of psychic power where you can tell, well, this person is that. You know, we often cannot. And usually when people have tried to say, okay, no, nah, that person is going to take me what? Guess what happens? There's a reverse effect because the people that we deem to not be important, to be the pivotal people, guess what? We mistreat them. We treat them like crap. We don't look at them. We walk them by like that mailman, the taxi cab driver, the Uber driver, the bus driver, or that lady that helps your children cross the road as you're trying to stop traffic to make sure your kids are good on their way to school. How are we treating all those individuals, right? Are we treating individuals that only seem like they would be important to us? Or are we genuinely actually concerned about those people that may not fit the bill of what we think to be perfect? Treat everybody with love and respect. Everybody with the same love and respect. But if you treat everybody with love and respect, I can guarantee you out of that, if it's genuine out of your heart, 
There are gonna be a few individuals that are gonna be pivotal moments that are gonna open their door with you. When I look at those young people, I, I didn't add all of them as my best friends, but I treated all of them, I listened to them, I really cared about what they were talking about. And today we're forming a group, a network of young people that's just changing the world. If you would like to be part of that network, there's my email in the description. Send me an email, say, hey, tell them I want to be part of that network of young people. We all love Jesus, we're on fire for him, but we also have personal development activities. We talk about a lot of life issues. It's just an incredible community. So in closing, I encourage you, treat everybody with love and respect. They could be those small hinges that are gonna open big doors for your life. That's all that I have for you today. If you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and also share this to one or two people. It might help them. Remember, you're God's very best. I'll see you next time. Take care.